Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another things I'm loving right now. Things that are currently tickling my fancy, things that are just making me feel all sorts of good feelings. The products and things that are in my life currently that are making life extra swell. There aren't too many new things that have been introduced into my life as of late, but there are a few things that I haven't necessarily talked too much about on my channel and I wanted to mention them here today for you. Start off with makeup, let's do that. I'm gonna start off with the concealer. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Concealer. I have the shade medium and I was kind of I, I've been very iffy about this product for a long time It's a pretty wet concealer. I find that I do have to set it with powder Definitely it has a very very light coverage, but it's super beautiful under the eyes for that more dry flaky skinned area But I do love this concealer when I am in hot places when I go somewhere warm like when I was in Mexico I'm gonna be packing for my trip to Vietnam And this is the this is the product that I love the most because I find that for me the NARS soft matte concealer because it's matte and it's quite full coverage. That doesn't last so well for me when I am sweating and when it's super warm, it kind of, I see it on my skin, like it kind of sits there. In my normal temperate, cold climate in Canada, it's absolutely perfect and I love that. This one can be a little bit sticky, but when I go to warm places, this one is absolutely beautiful on the skin. It blends in, it looks like your skin, it has the texture of skin and it's just super beautiful. It gives you a really nice, fresh, dewy finish on the skin. And just because I'm going on a couple more warm trips coming up, I think that this is just perfect and if you guys struggle to find makeup or concealer that lasts through the sweat and all that goodness the Glossier Stretch Concealer has definitely been my go-to and more recently I've tried the RMS um, Uncover Concealer and I find that those two have a very very almost exact formula um, obviously this one is significantly cheaper than the RMS one but if you guys were curious I found them to sit and act quite similarly on my face and yeah that has been something I have been loving definitely lately I have two highlighters that I want to talk about they're both products that I have shown in makeup tutorials but I haven't necessarily been like hey Hey, these are my favorites. I love them. First being the Hourglass Champagne Flash Vanish Stick Highlighter. Samantha forced me <laughs> into purchasing this. Twist my arm. And it's the highlighter I'm wearing on my skin now. It's the highlighter that I've definitely been wearing the most lately. It's a stick cream highlighter. I open it up. I love the packaging, by the way. It's absolutely beautiful. I just take one swipe and I pat it in with my finger. It is so quick to use and it's so beautiful. I find it just gives a very, very natural, dewy glow on the skin. It's so beautiful. And this has kind of been my day-to-day go-to highlighter that I've been using as of late and the highlighter that I've been using when I really want to pack a punch like if I'm going out going to an event and I want something a little bit more significant the one that I've been using the most has been the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals highlighter honestly this thing is insane it is so pigmented I I'd even go as far to say that it's more pigmented and crazy pop and highlight than the Becca highlighters. I find this one just so insane. You can see the highlight from space when you wear this and I think it's absolutely fabulous. At this particular second, I don't know if this was a limited edition collab or if it's still available, but I will definitely list it in the description box down below if it's still available. It's fantastic. If you guys love a crazy pop and highlight, it is, it is glow gold. And those are the two highlighters that I've been using and that have been gracing my face. Beautiful. Let's talk about some lip products. I wanted to mention the Dior Glow, the Lip Glow product, because I mentioned this in some kind of, oh, that testing YouTubers' makeup again. And to a lot of your dismay, I had forgot to list and say what shade I had, and I just wanted to say that I had the shade 001 pink. That's the shade of the lip glow that I have and I'm still loving and using it. It's beautiful. It's moisturizing. It does some sciency goodness and mixes in and makes your perfect pink. And yeah, I just wanted to say that I have the number 001. It's beautiful. Still loving it. I want to talk about the lip product that I have on my lips right now and it's one that I mentioned in my most recent PR haul and they are so beautiful. I had just been strolling through Sephora I think I was returning something actually and I walked by the Laura Mercier booth and they had this giant display of these new matte, what are they called? The Laura Extreme Matte Lipsticks. I'd never heard of them, I hadn't seen anyone talk about them, didn't see a launch or anything, but I was like, yes, that is everything I need in a lipstick and more. I'm so excited, I love stick lipsticks like crayons, you know? And I was so excited to try that. I bought three shades and I have been obsessed with all of them. This one in particular is in the shade Stylin. It's a beautiful kind of orangey coral. I think it's gonna be perfect for spring and summer. I put this on with bronzer and like nothing else on my eyes and I just feel like it's just so fresh and summery. They're really comfortable on the lips. They don't totally dry them out. I must say they are incredibly pigmented and how I apply it is I put a little bit in the center of my lip and I kind of just rub it around with my lips and I also do use a lip liner 
my makeup forever aqua lip liner obviously yeah there's i don't experience any bleeding no flaking super comfortable love the shades i think they have very very unique shades it's kind of hard to find nice corally matte lipsticks like this that don't sit and really really dry out the lips so i think they did such a good job with that and because it's a nice thin crayon it's really really easy to apply and be precise and yeah i'm obsessed with it so glad i picked it up uh laura mercier you killed it with these ones if you guys have tried these and have any shade recommendations definitely let me know i personally love the style in one i also picked up another brighter orange and also the pink can't remember the shades right now but i'll write it in the description box down below they're beautiful i'm obsessed if you guys are looking for some nice new bright spring lipsticks to add into your arsenal i'd recommend these they are beautiful obsessed i'm in love how many different ways can I say that? I also wanted to talk about the most recent launch from Lancome. I was so excited and hashtag blessed and grateful to have gone to LA with Lancome for the launch of their new L'Absolu Lacquer. Did they call it a lip gloss? I don't know. This liquidy lip glossy thing, this new hybrid of beautiful lip things that they have created. And by they, I mean Lisa Eldridge because she personally created this with her hand and was there talking about it. And if you guys, you know, exist in the beauty community, then you definitely know who Lisa Eldridge is. She's absolutely amazing. And she, in the recent years, became the creative director for Lancome. And she has been the one responsible for the matte shakers, the juicy shakers, and everything that is good and lovely in the world. And listening to her speak about her passion for products and and how she created them and why and what she wants them to do. It's just freaking inspiring, really. She's just such an amazing woman and I will do anything that she tells me to do and wear anything that she tells me to wear. But anyway, I just wanted to say that these L'Absolu lacquers are phenomenal. They are unlike any lip product that I have ever tried. They are glassy. They give the most glassy, glossy finish. And the reason why I like to say glassy is because it does just... I, I don't know, that's just what I think of when I see it. It puts this most beautiful sheen on the lips. And the thing that's magical about these is it's like as long wearing as a liquid lipstick. It's like a shiny, potent, glassy lip gloss and then it doesn't budge off the lips. I mean, it's not kiss proof, it's still a gloss, but what I mean is it doesn't move around. Like you don't have to worry about it bleeding into the lines around your lips. I wore two different colors to two of the different events while we were in LA with Lancome and I didn't have to touch it up once. It was insane. There are so many shades that I love. This one's 315, it's the one I've been wearing the most. But anyway, Anyway, try them for yourself. Let me know what you guys think. They are phenomenal and there are 30 different shades So there's gonna be a shade for everyone and they're so beautiful. Lisa Eldridge. I love you so and I love everything you do and please never stop. Let's talk about some skincare products. Now in terms of my face skincare, there hasn't really been anything that's changed. But I did want to mention a few body care products because that's something I don't typically talk about too much on my channel. I should probably start doing that more. Let me know if you guys want to see like a full, maybe I'll do like a what's in my bathtub video. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys would want to see. But I figured I would just mention what I've been using lately. First being these two fresh products as you guys can see. They're almost gone. I have this one permanently staying upside down because I'm trying to scrape the last bits out of it, but it's their, I don't know how to say this, Hesperides, Hesperides. It's their grapefruit bath and shower gel and also the body lotion. It smells so fresh and delicious. The lotion is phenomenal and it just smells delicious and it makes you, makes you glow, it makes your skin glow. Not actually, it's not a glowing shimmery product, but it's super moisturizing and soothing on the skin. I love the shower gel too and the two together. Did I also mention that I bought a shower curtain? I've, I've had it for a while, but I don't remember if I've talked about that, but it was kind of an ongoing joke that I didn't have a shower curtain. I just want to let you know. I have a shower curtain. I've been bathing at home, guys, dousing my body in this. I have one more random thing to show on beauty and skincare related, but I did just want to mention that um, I have been loving the HP Sprocket. My little sister Amila got this for Christmas and I was, I was green with envy. I was like, excuse me, mother, why didn't I get the HP Sprocket for Christmas? I'm just kidding, mom, I love you. I love you. And Amila, thank you for letting me use yours during the time before I purchased it myself. But yeah, I purchased the HP Sprocket. It's, it's the coolest piece of technology I think I've ever witnessed. You fill it up with paper, as you see there, and then it connects in a Bluetooth wireless way to your phone and you can print the freaking photos off of your phone. So if you guys are into Polaroids, if you guys know, I, I've been loving my Polaroid and been taking so many photos with it. I'm trying to do the whole scrapbooky thing, you know, keeping physical memories. I just whip myself in the face. <laughs> but it's kind of inconvenient to try and carry a Polaroid camera around with you. So I bought this and I'm super excited because you can print the photos off of your phone. Let me actually show you guys an example. 
Hello. My mom got me these adorable little photo holders for Christmas. I think I showed them in my what I got for Christmas video. But anyway, I have this on my shelf and these are just an example of the sprocket photos. I printed out some of the photos from our gal's trip in Mexico and I put them in here and it's just so nice to be able to print out whatever photo you want. And I've been loving putting them all over my house. That's just us looking all cute in Mexico and I'm just super stoked. I think it's such a cool thing, uh, such an amazing idea. And I love that I can make my Instagram physical. So those are all shalom in the home. So those are all of the things and products and, and goodness goodies that I have been loving. Let me know in the comments down below the things that you have been loving. What products have been tickling your fancies as of late? Let me know. Let me know what videos you guys want to be seeing from me. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!